naked in Japan. Restaurants are gendered here. Cafes with colorful desserts are female. Smoky yakitori joints are male. 24-hour eateries are unisex, safe spaces for lone diners. Yet, gender is also turned on its head here. Men can tweeze their eyebrows, be as slender as a stalk, wear pointy bright shoes. Nakedness is contextual. Everything can hang out in the right situation. Families can bathe together. Bare butts are part of summer festivals. But drunken stripping in public will cause great consternation, whether a celebrity or a sarari man. Everyone understands the need to squeeze during the morning rush hour, on the last train home, in tiny apartments, in claustrophobic basement two bars. Yet there is great consciousness of the other. The waitress shifts a perceptible inch as you slide into your table. A stranger in the lift presses the close button as she walks out. An elderly pedestrian makes a slight bow as he steps in front of a stopped vehicle. It is important to know the right steps. There is a sequence for entering lifts. Most junior first, then most senior, then next most senior. Just as there's a sequence for entering taxis. Most senior first, seated behind the driver, with the most juniors staff seated next to the driver. But there's a logic in this exactness. Duties have to be doled out. So, which is better? This careful passing of manner and word, set phrases for each changing season, or the helter-skelter indifference, our careless, casual, tropical ways. Ultimately, is a mask of dignity any worse than the insistence on the brutal truth? Okay.